Welcome to Connect. We are incredibly proud to introduce Quest 3, the first mainstream mixed reality headset. It understands your space so you can play with the world around you. You can solve Lego puzzles or you can build your own creations on any flat surface in your room. You can play games like BAM with your friends sitting around a table, whether you're physically right there together, or even if they're far away. You know, people love working out in Quest. But now, if you're doing a body combat workout, the targets are going to come at you in your physical room, whether you're in your living room or if you're you know, in your home gym, you're be able to look around and see the room around you, so you're going to be a lot more comfortable you know, swinging your arms and moving your body. Now, these experiences are possible because Quest 3 shows your physical space with 10 times more pixels than what we had on Quest 2. And it automatically maps the space that you're in using two dedicated color camera sensors and a depth sensor, which makes it so that if you, you know, pick up a digital ball and throw it at the physical wall, it'll bounce off it. Or if someone's shooting at you and you want to duck the fire, you can just get behind your physical couch. Now, this also means that you're going to be able to take a big virtual screen and just drop it wherever you are, and it'll show up in your physical room. Xbox Cloud Gaming is coming to Quest in December. You're going to be able to play you know, hundreds of Xbox games, including titles like Halo and Minecraft and Elder Scrolls. And you're going to be able to do that on a massive screen anywhere you go. And next year, uh, we're launching something that we call Augments, which are basically persistent, spatially anchored digital objects that you can interact with. So you, know, you can put a frame on your wall with photos and videos from Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can put a digital portal next to your physical workout gear, so every time you walk by it, you can easily jump into a supernatural workout. So if you're in an immersive experience, you can always just double tap on your headset to get back to your physical environment, and you'll see the immersive world that you're in just melts away. There's also a, a major live sports season coming up with X Stadium. Uh, so you know, we got fully immersive NBA games for free on us. You know, you can literally sit courtside from your couch. Um, if you're into fighting like me, um, you can watch LFA or Cage Warriors from UFC Fight Pass in 180 degree 4K resolution. Meta Quest for Business, which is going to allow you to take mixed reality and bring it to your organization at scale. All right, Quest 3, it is shipping on August 10th. You can order it today for $499. And you're not just seeing a live video feed of the space that you're in. Quest 3 can understand your space and blend it with the virtual world. No more manually setting up your PlayStation boundary. Quest 3 does that automatically. This extends the room capture, so it automatically maps your space and understands elements like walls, furniture, and objects. Games can bring your surroundings into their gameplay. So in first encounters, an alien spaceship descends from your ceiling and lands on your coffee table. And next year, you'll be able to customize your space with a library of augments that interact with the world in ways that physical objects can't. These can be dynamic 3D objects or 2D displays, and they can all exist together in the same space. You can size, place, and spatially anchor augments, so every time you put on your headset, they're right where you left them. Place life-size artifacts from games like Population One or Asgard's Wrath in your living room. Or you can bring your favorite artists and stations to life with interactive music players from iHeartRadio. And it does all of this, by the way, on a standalone headset. No wires, no battery pack, no console to plug into. This is a new display system and a new generation of the same pancake lenses that we debuted on Quest Pro last year. The result is an almost 30% increase in resolution. Those pancake lenses are also one of the reasons we've been able to slim down the Quest 3. It's a lot more comfortable to wear, thanks to this thin profile and more even weight distribution. The controller's got an upgrade, too. You can say goodbye to the tracking ring. This allows for a much slicker, more ergonomic design that feels like a natural extension of your hand. With hand tracking and a new direct touch system, you can put down your controllers and interact with Quest in the same way that you would a touch screen. 
We've also got an all-new range of accessories. For the first time, you can choose from multiple color options for your facial straps and interface. More than 100 new and upgraded titles are coming to Quest 3 this year, and more than half of those will showcase mixed reality features. So Quest 3 begins with an incredible foundation, the entire Quest library, and it will look better and play better thanks to next-generation hardware. There are many more big games coming. To name a few, we've got Assassin's Creed, yeah. Ghostbusters, Stranger Things VR, and Sega's Samba de Amigo. <laughs> and Roblox will make it easy to create, publish, and distribute experiences in VR. Quest Plus is our new subscription service that delivers two hand-picked games from the ever-growing Quest library each month. In October, subscribers will get access to Onward and Little Cities. And if you buy the 512 gig model of Quest 3, it comes with a free six-month subscription to Quest Plus. I look more like myself because our avatars can represent a much wider range of people. We have more options for body types, makeup and face paint, hair color, and more. We haven't talked that much about our image generation models. Now, we call it EMU for Expressive Media Universe, continuing with our animal theme. Today, we're starting to roll out a bunch of products with, with this in it. And it's, uh, you know, it's, they're high quality, photorealistic. But, you know, one of the coolest things is that EMU generates them fast. All right, so it's not a minute. These are, it's about five seconds to generate one of these. Every day, people send hundreds of millions of stickers to express things um, in chats. You know, with Emu, uh, now you have the ability to just type in what you want. You'll generate a set of custom, never-before-seen stickers on the fly, um, and you can send them to your friends. We're also bringing AI editing tools to Instagram um, next month. So, you know, it, it, the team dug up this photo of me, you know, that turned me into a cowboy, ugly sweater party. I don't really get that one. <laughs> that one's good. Poor beast. <laughs> Straighten his hair. Coming to Instagram um, in about a month. Pretty excited about this. We are building a platform for creating AIs that can help you get things done or just have fun. You know, of course, you'll be able to chat with them in WhatsApp and Messenger and Instagram Direct, but beyond that, they're going to have profiles in Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be able to interact with them, and eventually they're going to be embodied as avatars and live and be able to interact with them in the metaverse too. We have been creating a bunch of AIs ourselves, and we're going to start rolling these out in beta um, today and, and ramping that a bit over the next couple of days. People love taking photos and sharing them across our platforms. Our AI media editing tools will let you do that in new ways. And we call them Backdrop and Restyle. And they're coming soon to Instagram in the US. With Restyle, you can create a new dimension of visual flair to your photos. By just saying a simple word or phrase, you can now reimagine or create any filter that you can think of. And with Backdrop, it leverages one of our most popular model releases from this year, Segment Anything. And it can cut out any object in any image with just a single tap. So now, you can reimagine your background and change the scene with just a few taps. I might type something like, surrounded by puppies, and this feature will give me an entirely new story for my photo. Meta AI is it's your, your basic assistant, right? That you, can, that you can talk to like a person. Another neat feature of this is that you can invoke Meta AI in any chat. We have also been experimenting with creating some AIs that are um, a bit more fun, or that have some more personality, um, opinions, interests. Um, you got Max the sous chef. Um, who can help you come up with a recipe. Or let's say you know, you're writing something like a, a keynote and you're not really sure where to get started. You can ask Lily um, or personal editor AI. But let's say you want to play a role-playing game. Well, now you can just drop the 
the dungeon master into one of your chats. Let's get medieval, player. We've got voice coming over the couple of months, probably, probably early next year or something like that, um, on giving all of you the ability to build AIs too. Um, so we've been creating something that we call AI Studio. It is a platform for building um, these kind of AIs. And we're starting by opening up the API for integrating into our messaging apps to start. And that's going to open in the coming weeks. We are also building a sandbox so that you know, people who don't code can also train AIs like this. And we're working on that and iterating on it. And we hope to have that out sometime early next year. And we're also working on bringing all of this uh, to the metaverse too, where you're going to be able to have these embodied, these AIs will be able to be embodied as avatars. Um, you'll be able to make them as NPCs in the different games and experiences that you build and all of the different horizon worlds. And I think that that's going to be really neat. The last thing that I want to show you today, which is the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. Everything about this is upgraded from the first version. But the most interesting thing about this isn't any of those specs. It's that these are the first smart glasses that are built and shipping with Meta AI in them. You're going to get this state-of-the-art AI that you can interact with hands-free wherever you go. You know, let's say you're grilling with your family and you want to know how long you need to be cooking that chicken for. You know, or you're playing pickleball and hits the line and you want to know if that's a fault. She disagrees, but you know the truth. <laughs> Starting next year, we're going to be issuing a free software update to the glasses that makes them multimodal. So the glasses are going to be able to understand what you're looking at when you ask them questions. So if you want to know what the building is that you're standing in front of, um, or if you want to translate a sign that's in front of you to know what it's saying, you can basically just talk to Meta AI and look at it, and it'll walk you through it step by step how to do it. These Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses, we're launching them on October 17th, uh, starting at $299, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all think of them. With a powerful new processor and Meta's enhanced computational photography, we have better image processing, video stabilization, and much faster performance. 8x the memory. With 32 gigs, you can now store over 100 videos and 500 photos right there in your glasses. If I want to send a picture of Chipotle to my best friend Heidi, all I have to do is to say, hey Meta, send a photo to Heidi. The glasses will take a fantastic photo and send it directly to my BFF Heidi in the app where we usually chat, all without me having to take out my phone. They sound better because we have added five microphones spread around the glasses. This microphone array, it lets you record immersive audio when capturing videos. This mic array, it also helps you make the best hands-free calling experience. We have completely redesigned our custom speakers to have 50% higher max volume, and we doubled the bass. Yeah. Boom! We have also improved directional audio to help reduce audio leakage. We have been able to make them lighter. We have rebalanced the weight. The frames are slimmer and it's more flexible all for a more comfortable fit. You can still get the iconic Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer in standard and large sizes. They are joined by the all-new Ray-Ban Meta Headliner. Check out the new options for transparent frames. You can get them in caramel, in jeans, and in rebel black. You can still get them in the classic matte black and shiny black too. It comes in a gorgeous new charging case that is slimmer and 32% lighter. And it gives you eight additional charges for up to 36 total hours of use. And live streaming from your glasses 
It's a truly unique way to let your followers see what you're seeing in real time, and let them participate in your experience. Simply start your life from Instagram or Facebook the way you always do. A glasses icon will automatically show up right there in the app. When you double-click on your glasses, you immediately switch from your phone camera to your glasses camera. You can toggle back and forth throughout your live stream. A simple touch and hold on the side of your glasses anytime, and you can hear how many people are watching you live, and a readout of the most recent comment. You can pre-order right now, and we will hit retail stores on October 17 in 15 countries.